attention. Michael Ely, take notes, my man. Top five storylines. Number five, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons. Next step. Why? Because the Philadelphia 76ers are a team that I believe is going to the NBA Finals. That can't happen if Joel Embiid doesn't play like an MVP. Plus, he wants to win Defensive Player of the Year award. So he says, and Ben Simmons, you can't do but so much of you in the 76ers if he still refuses to take perimeter shots. Obviously, that's a big storyline. We're going to keep our eyes on that. Let's go to number four on this list, Max Kellerman. Pay attention. Russell Westbrook, James Harden duo. Why? Because the Houston Rockets are being picked by some to represent the West in the Western Conference Finals. How could that possibly happen if these two BFFs don't literally go on the court, act like it, and produce the way that they're supposed to? Got to keep our eyes on that. Let's go to number three on the list, please. Give it to me. The Zion hype. Why? Because he's a rookie, but he's a sensation. He's 6'6", 280 pounds. Obviously needs to lose some weight, protect those knees. He's injured, going to be the, out the first six to eight weeks with the meniscus tear in his right knee. We got to monitor all that stuff. If I'm a little bit mellow, Max, don't get depressed. I'm the one that's depressed because I just finished watching the Lakers last night. But I digress. Let's go to number two on this list. Give it to me. The Clippers quest for L.A. We've talked about this already in the show. I'm going to say it again. Led by Kawhi Leonard, the Los Angeles Clippers came into the Staples Center last night and said, Lakers who? We don't give a damn about y'all. This is our town right now, and we're going to do it with Paul George in a tuxedo. So imagine what we're going to do once he's wearing a uniform and he's on the court with us. LeBron and the Lakers are in trouble already because the Clippers have made it clear they are coming. Let's go to the number one story. Look, pressure on LeBron. That's right, I said it. Oh, and wait. never before have I. Listen, I'm going to say this, Max. Are you ready for this? Yep. LeBron James last night, one could easily argue, reminded us of the NBA final series when he was with Dallas. Oh. Last fourth quarter, four games of the fourth quarter, there was an APB out for him. You couldn't find him. Last night, you couldn't find him while Kawhi was giving it to them. He's under pressure because Kawhi is in town. Kawhi has announced to the world that he is here and he has come in to take over L.A. LeBron James, what you going to do about it? Period. Michael. Ah, wow. Yeah. Uh, look, I, I feel bad, you know. I, I mean, I've, I've heard all the talk about how, uh, you know, L.A. will never be a Clippers town. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's true anymore. I just, I just don't. I mean, you, you got to win in order to maintain that status, and I understand that L.A. is known for the Lakers. I get it, but the culture is changing. It, you know, it's changing, you know, across the board with social media. The players are different. The game is different. Things can change. Not now. I agree with not, that. Not immediately. I agree with that <laughs> temporarily. Right. The Clippers can flip this town temporarily. I saw the Mets do it to the Yankees in 86, right? But in order to do it in any kind of permanent way, you got to win and win year after yeah. year. Like, the Brooklyn Nets can take the town from the Knicks immediately because the Knicks haven't done anything for anyone in decades, right? Yeah. This is a little bit different, but it's real because of what Stephen A. is saying. There's a bigger, as much as LeBron would want to say it's a team game, it's only game one, he's trying to get AD going, whatever else it is. There's a bigger thing at stake here. that the, When they make the 30 for 30 about this, the right. storyline is... It's Stephen A. identified it exactly right. Kawhi is coming for you in your building, playing you game one with a commercial that tells you that he's number one, defending champ, and you don't answer the bell? And you pretend that that's not what it's about? Of course that's what it's about. How can it not be that's about a big, that? that? And that's the big deal of me, Michael. The fact that he sat there in the post game was like, ain't no rivalry, just a game. We got to get ourselves together. They got to get themselves together. That's all it is. Really? They got themselves The man together. got commercials. He got promos. He's announcing that he has arrived. He's coming for whatever pseudo crown you think you have when he's the reigning NBA Finals MVP and the champion, and you have no answer while he's giving you 30, while he's dinging you up, while he's guarding you, while he's sitting there scoring points against you and everybody else. You have no answer, and then in the post game, you have nothing to say. I'm very worried. I'll tell you something else. No, oh, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. I'll tell you something else. Just because Kawhi did it, he made it look easy. It's not easy. The Greek freak is coming too. And he's getting it like, oh, if only Ben Simmons had a shot. The freak is getting a shot. He's the reigning MVP. And just because Kawhi did that to him in six games, even if LeBron was to get by Kawhi and make it to the finals, don't let the freak be standing there waiting for him because that could be a whole other problem. 
It's go, it's go, it's, this, is, this is by far, I think everybody said, this is by far the best season and the most exciting season. There's just, there's just no way to kind of, every team feels like they're one injury away from not making the finals, right? There's all these dynamic duos and top threes and everything else, but you really don't know until we get to the finals who's healthy. I mean, you starting off the season without Zion. Mm -hmm. I mean, when did the Pelicans get the first national game of the season? Mm -hmm. Right, it's because of Zion, oh, and yeah. he's not even there. Right. So, like, everything is changing, and and at the end of the day, yeah, I, I can't call who's going to be there. I, I really can't call who's going to be there. Mm -hmm. I, I hope to me the Clippers have the depth to make it. Mm -hmm. The Lakers have a great starting five once everybody's healthy, but as you know, and you saw it last mm -hmm. year with Golden State, health is a long season. Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.